iPad versus iPhone, which will last longer. Both devices are at 100%, so we started by turning up the brightness and opening every app we use daily. And we even turned on the flashlight. We started using them literally everywhere. We even tried draining them in the sun. After that, we decided to go back inside and play COD Mobile. And I was going crazy. This iPad feels like a console. After an hour, the iPad's at 63%. And the iPhone is at 64%. We went back to gaming, but then we got hungry. But that wasn't going to stop us. We kept draining the batteries and ate some good food. I even recorded a video to see if it would drain any faster. This thing is so huge. Who would ever record on this? <laughs> Now it's time to draw. Drawing on the iPhone was pretty hard. Dude, I was you're just mad that you didn't get the iPad. Time's up. Now we look at the drawings, starting with you. And here's my drawing. Oh, that's cute, but check mine out. Oh, you didn't even draw that. Yeah, I did. My iPad got so hot, it literally burned me. It's been three hours, and the iPad is at 8%. And the iPhone is at 1%. After three hours and two minutes, the iPad wins.